in the Facebook group this week, I posted what I call a Friday freebie. And again, it's a PowerPoint template that comes from one of our good friends. This is Nelson Long over at Super Good Products and the Majestic version 3 collection. And I talked him into let me get a freebie for you. And I think what I'll do here is just kind of walk through a quick tutorial. There's a, a couple of cool things. Before I do that, let me put a link in for you guys to go get your own file. If you go to this blog post, you can go ahead and download this. And you can also see a sample video that I did. Okay, so here's your free Majestic version 3 PowerPoint video template. This is called Energetic Stomp. Here's my sample, and it is, let's see, energetic to say the least. It is a rapid fire kind of a thing, very impactful. I like it. So you can click and download your copy here and check out all of the templates in this particular collection. When you download it, you'll get this zip file. Just extract the contents. And one of the nice things about Nelson is he provides both a standard size, which is actually widescreen, uh, and the widescreen, which is I'll call cinematic. <laughs> so I work with the standard size, but he also includes information about the content. For example, the music used and the link to where it is. This happens to be from the YouTube library, I believe. Actually, it looks like he included the audio file here, and he also includes the fonts. Okay, so that's all fun. He also gives you a video preview, and then also shows you what slides are included. To get started, you just click on the PowerPoint slide deck and open it up. And the first time you do that, there will be a little Enable Editing button right around in here. Click the Enable Editing, and then the first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Save As, navigate to a location on your hard drive, and rename this file because you do not want to screw up your master. Okay, and now we're kind of ready to get started. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Selection pane. On the Home tab, go to Select open up the selection pane. Uh, you can also click on any object on a slide, go to format, and open the selection pane here. There's probably another way to do it, but here's my favorite. I'm going to go ahead and once you find it, right click on that guy and add it to your quick access toolbar. That will put it right up here. And you'll never have to hunt and stab on whatever tab it happens to be on ever again. It's right here. Display the selection pane. Boom! The selection pane, of course, shows all the stuff that's on the slide in layers. And we'll see that we have a text box. And normally the way I'll kind of get started is I will just preview stuff. So you can preview by going to animations and clicking preview, or even more handy dandy, if there's an animation on a slide, you'll see this little star here. So I'm just going to click on that. Nice. So this is just text. And modifying text is no big deal. So I'm not going to get into that. But let's move to the next slide. And I'm just going to walk through this and show you some stuff. On the next slide, the thing to be aware of is that, yes, there is a, another text box. Okay. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. But what you'll kind of notice is that the text is the same word or phrase as the previous slide. So what you want to do if you want to modify this and make it your own is whatever you write in here, make sure you write the same thing here. Okay? And let's turn off the text layer for just a second and see how to change the picture. In the selection pane you'll notice that this says picture placeholder. What that tells me is that this is, you know, for lack of a better term, I'm going to call it smart art. It's not just a picture. It's a, kind of a shape with the picture as the fill in it. But here's the cool thing you can do with picture placeholders. To change this, I'm just going to click on it, and I'm going to first note where it is in the layers. Now, this slide happens to be easy. It's just at the bottom. 
So I'm going to click on it and hit delete. When you do that with a picture placeholder, you'll see that it just says click icon to add picture. So let's do that. Let's pick us a new picture and let's insert it. But what you notice, if you turn the text back on, oh, well, it's not there. The reason you have to note the position is now oh, I got to move it back down to where it originally was. When you delete something and then add a new picture, it puts it at the top. So it's real easy. You just got to be aware of where the picture placeholder is in the layers and then act accordingly. Let's move on to the next slide. But you'll notice that there are two pieces of text. So let's hide one of them. And again, for the third time, this is the same text as is up here. So to modify this and make it make sense, again, use the same word or phrase here. Let's hide that. And then we'll notice that, OK, now the next phrase is going to be coming in, right? So again, make sure you put the same text for all three areas here. And then don't forget to turn layers back on. I'm going to click the picture placeholder. I'm going to hit delete. But what you would have noticed is that this image is the same as was up here. So again, I want to change it by deleting, click, and I'm going to add the same picture. Move it to the bottom. Okay, and everything's just going to work. I like it. So what you do is you just kind of go through each instance here, keeping in mind that the text may remain from one slide to the next. Okay, and here, what is it here? Magnificent. On this slide, well, there's magnificent. I can change it. And it's usually easier to turn it off. Turn the one covering, turn that one off so you can get to this change it, and then switch back and forth so that the only text box that you're modifying is visible. Again, don't forget to turn everything back on. And you just kind of go back and forth like that. This image is the same as this image. So delete the picture placeholder, add you another image. Here's Maggie the Wonder Dog. Since there's no other layers, I don't need to move it. Let's go here. Change my text. Let's delete. Add the same picture of Maggie. And move it to the bottom. Right? And I usually preview as I go. And that's basically it. Uh, you go through, you'll see that same kind of concept and procedure mimicked throughout the whole thing. Okay, if the image is the same, you know, then make sure you swap it out for the same images on multiple slides and kind of go through. And when you're done, you go to File, Export, Create a Video, set the second spent on each slide to zero create video. Again, there's a known bug in PowerPoint for a slide deck like this. Exporting as MP4, I'm pretty sure is probably going to be glitchy. So I'm going to go with the Windows Media version and just click Save and it will kick out your HD quality video. Here's what you'll find with this particular template. And one of the things that drives me nuts in a lot of these is that this thing's going to move fast. And when I say fast, I mean stuff's going to fly by. That's kind of the design and the intent of it. But here's kind of a cool thing with this template is, let me find an example of one. Let's see, this slide right here. This slide has some text that comes in. And before you can even possibly read this, it's gone. It just, boom, it's gone, <laughs> right? So what I might do is I'll, I'll change this text to whatever it is that I want. And if we go to the animations and the animation pane, here's kind of an interesting thing. 
there's only one animation here and this happens to be appear so like I say these words are just gonna appear bang 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 okay and then the slides gonna move on well here's a little trick it doesn't have to just move on if you go to the transitions tab and you'll notice right here advance slide it's set to zero which means bam 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 and gone well let's try this let's change this to depending upon how long I want to have this text stay on the screen I'll change it to like two seconds and now it's going to enter with the appeared bang 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 1001 1002 and then it's gonna move on okay and you'll see this a lot on a lot of these slides so if you want a slide to stay longer you can change this parameter right here in this particular set of slides a lot of these templates it doesn't work that easily <laughs> I wish it did but let me walk you through the reason it works is because the animations themselves are very simple a lot of times he uses the morph transition okay to do animating I'm not going to get into that but a lot of templates will have all kinds of exit animations here and I think there's actually one example so let me find that one example here see these exit animations let's preview it okay so the picture zooms in a little bit and the text that was on the screen which comes in from the previous slide what does it do it exits so if I were to change this to stay like I don't know three or four seconds what's gonna happen well the animations gonna play this stuff is gonna exit and then it's gonna wait three or four seconds before advancing to the next slide well that's probably not what I want if the goal is to have this stay on screen longer there's no elegant way to do that if there's exit transitions so like I say sometimes that this trick works sometimes it doesn't where it works great is if it just has a, a couple animations with no exits stuff doesn't leave the screen leave the slide this animation just comes in so let's take a look at that okay the text comes in and since there's no exit animations getting this stuff out of here I can use this trick so you can slow this thing down a little bit of course part of the impact is that stuff moves fast but quite frankly I don't want it to move that fast right so there you go okay I think that's uh, about it for now hope that was useful any other questions by the way this is my PowerPoint video blog if you're not subscribed this is the kind of stuff that I do all the time here free templates and tutorials it's awesome so make sure you sign up for that list if and you're into PowerPoint video stuff